All right, uh, good afternoon, YouTube. It's uh, How To with Doc Gaddy. Uh, I know it's been a while and I apologize for that, but I'm done recruiting. This video is gonna be on the conversion of my 24 foot cargo trailer into an apartment and a car hauler. I'm gonna try and post a video each day about each one of the things that we do. Today's video is gonna be on the insulating of the floor, as well as building the stud wall, insulating the stud wall, and sealing all the air gaps. So if you come with me, I'll take you on a short little trip. And so what I'm doing right now is the insulation for the floors. So what I'm using is pretty simple. We're using this polypro polystyrene board, one inch thick, cutting it to fit underneath the trailer so that it fits in between the steel girders that are underneath this, this uh, particular trailer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down under here and show you what it looks like underneath. So as you can see, underneath the trailer, it's got steel girder and half inch plywood construction. So what I'm doing is measuring between the girder to the girder, and I'm getting it down to as close as possible so that it's a tight fit. Then, once we get it cut to fit, I'm using Liquid Nails Extreme Heavy Duty Exterior, basically glue. And as you can see, putting it on so that there's maximum contact. Then lastly, to provide some sense of mechanical adhesion also, we're using number eight, inch and a quarter exterior wood screws. And then we're also using quarter inch by one and a quarter inch fender washers. And I'm putting them approximately every three feet apart across the length so that we get a mechanical as well as a chemical adhesion uh, to the subfloor of the truck. Polystyrene board installed in all of the bays. And then if you look, you can see the dimples. That is where the screws and the fender washers serve as a mechanical attachment. This R value on this product is like an R3 or an R4, so I'm not expecting a lot from it. But as I'm moving to Kansas, uh, every little bit uh, will help. Now on the inside, this area is going to be uh, the bedroom slash TV room. And what you see here is the stud wall. Standard two by fours, frame 16 inches on center with cross blocks. You'll notice over here on the right side that there is a gap. That gap is due to this board at the bottom that serves as a baseboard. That gap is going to be fill, filled with the polystyrene foam board. All right, so what we've done now, I've accounted for the three quarter inch bottom baseboard inside the trailer. So I offset the first stud one inch. And then we laid out each one of the studs and pre-drilled all the holes. Now, as you can see, clamped underneath it is another two before. That two before is the top plate. So in order to ensure that I get the correct drill marks so that everything lines up, what I did is took two clamps, squared the board, centered the board and got it fixed end to end so that it can't move and then we're going to pre-drill the top plate so that everything lines up you'll notice that all the boards are pressed in you'll notice at the bottom those are self-tapping sheet metal screws the toe plate is lined up above one of the steel cross members that's underneath the plywood at the top we also use those same screws to screw through the roof material and into the steel beam that goes across the ceiling. 
This two by six block is put in right here so that I can mount a TV to it. In this room, I'm going to build a bed that flips down from that wall, twin size. In this corner, we will have shelves for clothing storage. Along that wall will also be clothing storage. When the time for the floor comes, we're gonna use LVP uh, as it's waterproof. And as I'm going to Kansas, uh, there'll be a lot of snow and ice to deal with. This is the back half of the trailer, which will serve as a car hauler slash workshop um, where I'll keep all my tools. Now on this side of the wall, you see the opposite uh, of the polystyrene insulation boards. You notice that all the seams have been taped so that there's no thermal breaks coming through. Again, that gap will be filled and taped. Across the top seam, I'm going to use expanding foam all the way across in order to fill that gap, as well as underneath the bottom, the tow board. That way we have no air leakage from side to side. This gap right here will be the doorway and it's just going to be a ready-made pre-hung door. Nothing special at all. So uh, thank you for tuning in. And tomorrow's video, like I said, we will cover the rough electrical uh, that goes into uh, something such as this. I'm gonna be installing a 50 amp panel with three uh, outlets on the bedroom side and three outlets on the garage side. Each one of those circuits will hold 15 amps and then that will leave me an additional 20 amps to use for random uh, things as needed. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great day.